So I made a video about Digibyte yesterday and I got a lot more comments and responses um, about Digibyte than I was expecting. So all of these are the comments that I received for Digibyte. Uh, the video also included Nano, but <laughs> about 99% of these comments were for Digibyte. So when I made that video, uh, Nano was actually ahead of Digibyte in terms of overall market cap. Uh, and as of July 7th, uh, Saturday, July 7th, 2018, Digibyte was actually, uh, Digibyte actually surpassed Nano in terms of overall global market cap. And so I just want to take a look at this very quickly, and then I do just want to jump into an article about Digibyte. Uh, there's definitely people that are interested in it, so yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video about it, and hopefully I as well kind of le learned some stuff from the comments like I did from all of the other comments. Um, there's a lot of good information in there, a ton, a ton of information, and I think some people that are huge Digibyte uh, connoisseurs came in and commented some stuff because people there were there weren't arguments but there was some disagreements but um overall yeah i think it was if, if you read through you could probably learn uh from Digi about digibyte because i definitely did so if we just take a look at digibyte's daily chart uh it actually looks a lot better than uh, a lot of the charts we were seeing so this is bitcoins uh, you can kind of just see this descending pattern and you kind of see the same thing with digibyte here but you can definitely see the run-up back in april and then specifically the one that started a few weeks ago Digibyte's been doing very well. I think it'll probably uh, it'll probably have a retracement soon. Just seeing as it's uh, about to touch the 200-day moving average right here, it's overextended on the RSI right at 70, going into overbought. Uh, so it'll probably retrace soon. That's not to say that it won't continue to to climb. But yeah, the article that I just wanted to point out. So this is about you trust. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to go into this very briefly. It's it's a pretty short article. Uh, it was published on Friday, July 6, 2018. Uh, on CryptoNinjas.net. So Utrust is a cryptocurrency payment solution, uh, and they announced on the 6th that they would implement themselves with the global blockchain Digibyte. Uh, the integration between Utrust and Digibyte aims to provide a secure payment solution to help build an offline cryptocurrency platform for mainstream adoption. So the Digibyte Awareness Team Marketing Manager, uh, Rudy Bauman, voiced his excitement at the pro's integration, stating, we're excited by the prospect of working with Utrust and getting Digibyte to be your payment processing solution. This would allow us to grow organically and attract more interest as an open source solution. We hope not only to create a robust decentralized public blockchain, but to change the world for the better. And so I know a lot of people um, that, that do watch these videos are Litecoin fans, uh, especially in the comments that I that I received on that video. I think a lot of it, uh, most, most everyone in the comments does own Litecoin and does believe in Litecoin long term. Um, and I know a lot of people see Bitcoin as a store of value, but I think it's also fair to say that Litecoin could be seen as a store of value. And it's similar to that Bitcoin uh, gold to gold, Litecoin silver comparison that, that everyone's been saying for months and months. But yeah, no, I think there definitely is room. Uh, and I, I'm, the only reason I'm saying this is because I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying like Digibyte's better than Litecoin, forget Litecoin, uh, I'm, I'm only into Digibyte now or something like that. It's definitely not the case, but I do just want to report kind of on on different things in the space that I'm interested in, especially coins that I'm invested in and I personally think probably have good futures. And like I said in the last video, that'll probably give you good returns. And I think Digibyte is one of those projects. And as well, in terms of investing, I think it's always important to diversify. So no matter how much you believe in Litecoin, this is my opinion, um, but I think you should always also be invested in other cryptocurrencies. I don't think you should ever invest solely in one cryptocurrency. I think it's always smart to try and diversify, not into projects you don't necessarily believe in, but really, you know, if you if you have time to do research uh, and you find a, lot, a few projects you like, I think it's important to diversify and pick more than just one. Um, not financial advice. Uh, the article also states the team has spent four years pioneer, pioneering Digibyte. Um, and assisting other cri cryptocurrencies in implementing their blockchain technology. Digibyte has no central server securing the system and is secured by a worldwide distributed node protocol with no single point of failure. And I had a lot of people arguing about the fact that Digibyte was, could be subject to a 51% attack. And a lot of people dismissed that in the comments as well. Um, and I've, I've actually read a few different places about uh, Digibyte being quite secure, despite the fact that uh, there are people that believe opposite. But again, it's you know it's important that we all do our research when it comes to these things, uh, and I don't like bad mouthing any cryptocurrency. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's important to to be open to all cryptocurrencies. 
I know there's a huge rivalry in the space between, you know, like, it's really hard for a Litecoin fan to be a fan of XRP or like a Bitcoin fan to be a fan of XRP or this and that, you know, it's, it's very divided in the community, but I do think it's smart to just kind of learn as much as you can about certain things. And if you do like them, I think you should invest in them. You know, if, if it's what you want to do and if you feel confident in it, you, you know, taking risks can end up being bad, but taking risks also is how people end up being very successful uh, as well as wealthy. So that's all I want to say about that. You know, I think it's important. So yeah, I'm interested to see where Digibyte goes. Obviously, I'm interested to see where Litecoin goes. Still, m majority of my position is in Litecoin, more so than any other cryptocurrency. But um, yeah, no, I've I've diversified in other cryptocurrencies that I like. Like I've said before, I'm probably in um, 30 different cryptocurrencies. Some of them, uh, not very deep into them, but I'm just, you know, very lightly invested. But they're all cryptocurrencies that I know at least a little bit about and that I, that I think potentially um, could be useful in the space.